criminal investigation division. How can I help you? Well, I get a message on my machine to call this number. Something about a, a lawsuit or... Uh, I just got home. I think it was like 10.47 this morning the call came in. So the call, as soon as I got the thing. So that's what I'm doing. Hello? Why, you fucker? Criminal Investigation Division, how can I help you? Well, I got a message to call this number, and uh, that's what I'm doing. Something about a lawsuit? I don't, I don't know. Hello? Scammer, Hello. you there? Scammer, are you going to yes, answer sir, the here. phone? Yes, I'm here, bitch. Okay, scammer, okay. you big colludy. Criminal Investigation Division, how can I help you? Well, I got a message to call this number, and that's what I'm doing. Which number on your received call? On your home phone number or on your cell phone number? My home phone. Okay. Do you want to know what the number is? Yeah. Hey. Ben Colodi. You hear me? Hello. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you mother chode. <laughs> Criminal Investigation Division. How can I help you? Yes, I get the message to call this number. Criminal Investigation Division, how can I help you? Hey, Scammer, I'm going to bust your balls all afternoon. What do you think of that? Oh, wise guy. Oh, you fox. Oh, fuck, but I went long enough. You reach IRS, this is Officer Paul. How may I help you? I got a message to call this number. Uh, I just got home and it said to call as soon as I got the message, so I did. I don't know what it's about. Something about a lawsuit. I think it's, it said lawsuit. I heard that much. But I don't, I don't know who's suing me. May I have your first name and your last name? My first name is Richard. My last name is Miles. M-I-L-E-S. Okay, could you provide me with your address? 2732 Bedford Street. It's Bedford Street. 2732 Bed, B E D F O R D Street. Okay. Okay, just hold on. Okay, let me check. Okay. Are you there? Yes, I am. Do you have a pen and a piece of a paper handy? I want you to write down some information. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, first of all, write down my name. My name is Paul. It's P A U L Paul. Yes. And my batch ID number is GS84202. 84202? Yeah, and your case ID number is DC1928. DC1928. Yeah, we call you to ascertain your attorney information that there is a legal allegation and a lawsuit has been filed against you by the Internal Revenue Service. Okay, are you aware about the situation? Well, no, this is the first I heard of it. So I will just go ahead and read out the legal charge against your name, but before I do that, do not interrupt me. I will give you a fair time to speak, okay? Okay. I, okay. Now as, per the, now as per the documents, we conducted an audit on your taxes file for the year 2000, 2012 to 2016, and we found that there was I a just miscalculation. Filed 16. I just don't filed. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me, okay? Okay, sir. Before I say to you that, do not interrupt me. Uh, sir, you could be a little bit more polite. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. And we found that there was a miscalculation error for the tax that you filed does not match in the tax record. That we have, so according to section 7201, that amount is still outstanding on your name, which you have not paid. And for that reason, the local authority with us warrant will come at your place, okay? Your driving license will be cancelled and everything under your name, your property, your bank account will be seized. You will also face an imprisonment of for up to five years. Now the total amount outstanding on your name is $6,896, which includes your pending taxes, legal charge, and late fees. Now may I ask you, Mr. Did you do this intentionally or by mistake? Well, it must have been a mistake, but I don't know how you could have made okay. that big of a mistake. Okay. Sorry? I don't know how I could have made that big of a mistake. Do you have an attorney hire or you need to hire one? No, well, I got one from an old marijuana charge. 
Kelly? I have one from an old marijuana charge. You are the fucker, right? Yeah, you got it, scammer. <laughs> How come this fucker won't answer? What do you got? I got the... Oh, I... You have reached the United States Department of Treasury. How can I help you today? Well, I got a message to call this number. Something about a lawsuit. Oh, you fucker. Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, how may I help you? I got a message to call this number that I'm being monitored. Very important. Okay, uh, sir, to call do you back have a case as soon as possible. Okay, sir, uh, do you have a case number? No, didn't leave no case number. Okay, if you don't have a case number, can I have your first name and your last name so that I can pull out your information? Sure. My first name is Richard. Richard. My, Richard, and my last name is Miles, M-I-L-E-S. Okay, Mr. Richard, I want you to write down some information. Do you have a pen and paper? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay so first of all, we can write down my name. You are speaking with Sandra, Sandra Johnson. Sandra Johnson. Johnson. Okay. And you can write down my beige ID number. My ID number is IRM, IRM. Yeah, IRM. Eight nine seven four. Nine seven four. Okay. Okay. So Richard. So Mr. Well, uh, Mr. Richard. Well, this is regarding a criminal lawsuit filed against your name by the IRS. So are you aware about the situation? Well, no, I didn't know anything about it until I got the phone call. Okay, so now before I provide you with any information about this case, I would like to inform you that the line on which we are talking right now is being recorded and monitored by the IRS headquarters, as well as the county sheriff department and the local, local authorities of your state. So county sheriff? Do not interrupt. Why would the county so do not sheriff? I'm sorry, what? I don't know why the county sheriff would be doing it. Yeah. So d listen to. So do not interrupt me and listen to me very carefully. As we are running short of time, once I'm done, I will give you fair enough chance to speak. What do you mean and running I'll short of time? What's that mean? So listen to me very carefully, okay? Okay. So, as for the documentation, or consider, or we have conducted an audit on your taxes filed from the year 2010 to 2016, and we found that. You have done a major miscalculation while filing your tax, and it does not match the tax record that we have. So, according to Section 101, that amount is still outstanding under your name, and for that reason, IRS has decided to firstly recollect the amount from you by involving Section 101HO, which means your driver license will be cancelled your social security number will be blacklisted. IRS will blacklisted. also mark a lien on your... What's yeah. that mean? IRS What's social security number blacklist mean? Will be blacklisted. What's that mean? And IRS... Yeah, just give me a moment. Why? Well, how'd you fuck that up? Hello? Yeah, thanks for calling Internal Revenue Service. I got a message to call his number about a lawsuit, but I don't know what the lawsuit is about. Okay. Can I have your first name? First name is Ralph. Can you spell it out? R-A-L-P-H. R-A-L-E-A. -E and last name? Troy. T-R-O-Y. Okay. Hold on for a moment. Okay. You live in Montgomery, Alabama? Yes. Okay, and yes, this call is uh, this call is regard about the income taxes. Have you ever filed your taxes? Yeah, I filed my taxes. Yeah. And when is the last time that you filed your taxes? Uh, would have been April, or before April. April. Okay. What the fuck's that all about? You have reached your yeah, I got a message to call this number about a lawsuit. It said to call as soon as I got the message, and so that's what I'm doing. But I don't know what the lawsuit's about. 
Hello? Hello? Scammer lady, are you there? Scammer lady? Scammer lady, are you gonna answer? Ben Colode, you gonna answer me? Answer me! Don't make me mad. You will be in big trouble. You will go to the goat house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Okay. Uh, this is IRS. How can I help you? Oh, I got a message. Call this number. Something about a warrant. Okay. Uh, so, when did you receive a message from our department? Uh, this morning. I think it was 1047 it said on the machine. All right. Okay, it was a voicemail, right? Yeah. Okay, so can you verify me your number, which you have received a voicemail from our department, sir? My phone number? Yeah, your phone number, which you have Not, received a voicemail from yeah, our department. Yeah, 919-778-4889. 4889. Okay, uh, can you hold on for a second, sir? Let me pull out your details. Sir. Okay. Yes, hello? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, well, I'm looking for Mr. Robert Johnson. Yes. Okay, uh, who am I speaking with, sir? Christopher Crawford. C-R-W-F-O-R-D. Okay, uh, well, I'm looking for Mr. Robert Johnson. So, I guess I got a wrong number, sir. So, sorry for the disturbance, you. Sorry uh, uh, for disturbing, sir. Well, I'll go scam somebody else, then, okay? Fuck. Department of U.S. Treasury, how may I help you? Uh, I got a message. I just got home. There's a thing on my machine. Something about calling this number in regards to... Why, oh, you fuckers. Department of Legal Affairs, U.S. Treasury, can I help you? Yes, I had to call this number. Uh, we already started a legal action. I your name right now. You contact me. It's not helping out. Why? Why? I'm trying to figure out what to do. Because it's the party you are trying to reach is busy and cannot take your call. Oh, Please busy, leave a huh? message after the tone. Okay. We'll see what this does. Thank you for calling Department of U.S. Treasury. Can I help you? Yeah, answer me, you scammer. Shut up. Stupid. You fuck you. Legal Affairs, U.S. Treasury, Internal Revenue Service, IRS. Can I help you? Hello, scammer. How are you today? Do you want me to go to Walmart? <laughs> Thanks for calling IRS. I'm going to help you. I got a message. Something about the police coming to my house to call this number. I don't know why. Why, you scamming fuck. Thanks for calling IRS, I'm gonna help you. Got a message to call this number. I just got home. Hello? Can I have your name, sir? It's Gregory Bryan, B-R-Y-A-N. But the thing is that we are not calling on your number. We are not calling on 701 394 we're not calling in December, so how did you get a call from my department? Because I know you're scammers and I'm calling you, that's why. You scamming fuckers. You know what? You are a scammer. I'm not a scammer, you're the scammer, you fuck. Okay, okay. <laughs>